Caleb. Look right at me. No, Caleb, stand up on that stump. That'll be a very nice picture. Very nice. All right, everybody stay real still. All right, everybody look right here. Right here. <laughs> Your aunts will like that picture. Ah, they hardly know what I look like anymore, the aunts. I hardly know what they look like anymore. It's uh, Maine you come from, isn't it? Yeah. She lives here now. And she does. Uh, you know what I bet? I bet Maine is green. Oh, we could sure use rain. Sure could. You know what I remember? Those can go right in that box here. I remember back when I was a little boy, and you remember this, Jacob. It didn't rain for months. Months. And then the winds came. All the crops dried up. The leaves of the corn just fell like dust, and that goes right next to the camera. My grandfather packed up his family and just left. Did he ever come back? Never did. Could be rain. Yeah, young man. You want to come with me or you want to hop down? Thanks. No, sir. No, 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 no. You pay me when I bring the pictures back. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you. See you soon now. Bye. Ma'am. Papa, will you worry if it doesn't rain? Yeah. But we'll manage. We always have. Imagine having to leave. That won't happen, Sarah. We'd never leave. We're born here. Our names are written in this land. washing for that floor. That's a mixed blessing. Don't feed her too much, Caleb. She's getting fat with your food. I think she's something more than fat, Sarah. What? What does Papa mean? <coughs> kittens. He means kittens. <coughs> you ever had kittens before? No. Never. Can we keep them all? Why don't we have them, Papa? I don't know, Caleb. It was just like having a baby. Like Maggie. Only lots of babies. Kittens. Anna. <laughs> I didn't mean to frighten you. Someday I will marry and move to my husband's land. That's what Papa says. Well, he does, does he? That's what you did, Sarah. You came from Maine to marry Papa. Yes, I guess I did. You fell in love with us. Well, I did that. Your letters, then you. Did you fall in love with Papa's letters, too? Before you knew him? Yes. I loved your Papa's letters. But it was what was between the lines that I loved the most. What was between the lines? His life. That's what was between the lines. Sometimes... Sometimes Papa's not good at words. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. 
But when I read your papa's letters, I could see the farm and the animals and the sky and you. You know, sometimes what people choose to write down on paper is more important than what they say. Caleb! Anna! The cows! <laughs> You. You rascal, you. So, how are you all? And you? News, happy baby. Lots of them. Oh, big news. Come to think of it. I've seen Seal at our house, with Sam, in fact, the orange cat. So it's Sam, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surrounded by motherhood. The cat is due, then kittens. Caleb, Anna, I get it. time to go. Church wells down a foot. A foot? Yeah. That's more than ours. Tom, are those clouds in the west, Tom? Right there. Maybe. Maybe it'll rain, eh, Tom? Oh, sure, 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 sure. Be home soon. What if it doesn't rain, Papa? It will rain. Yes, it will. Sometimes. It's just the time before it rains that it's hard. It always is. Bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Come on. Sarah, I need you. Hurry. Jacob? Over here. It's a cat. It's turned. It's a rain. What can I do? I'm trying to keep her quiet. Okay. Tell about the calf, but it happened soon. Hold on to her. That face, pale as the winter moon. Think. Anna says sometimes you're not good with words. Sometimes. Words are not good enough. Shall we wake the children? Not yet. Eat your breakfast. Mm. Huh? Eat your breakfast. Oh. Uh, you have a name yet? No. Hurry, Caleb. Eat faster. I'm eating as fast as I can. What does she look like? She's small. Brown. Got some white on her face. Mm. 
Papa says her face is as pale as the winter moon. Oh, like, like a moonbeam. She's lively. We had a terrible time trying moonbeam. to get her out. Let's call her Moonbeam. Hey. Is Mame excited? Does she like the baby? I'm not sure I noticed. What do you think, Sarah? Excited cow? Let's say she likes her calf. Finished. Finished. But was Mame excited? Jacob, you were far away. I was thinking about when I was a boy. I missed that, your being a boy. What sort of a boy were you? A bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> when I was little, my brothers and sisters and I used to dream about a good life, riches and fine horses and buggies, but Mostly, we dreamed about the land. My father used to dream about the sea, as if it owned him. It did. The storm, Aunt Maddie says, and the shingles from the porch went to sea. My hat went what to sea. What does that mean? Went to sea. Means they blew into the sea. My hat went to sea, too. The one with the bird on it. And two inches of rain. Your bird? Stop, Caleb. Oh, Aunt Maddie would miss that hat. Two inches of rain by the glass measure. A glass? A glass to measure the rain. What about your letter, Sarah? Oh, just about the weather. Painting William's boat. Read it. The grass is green, growing so tall that we've mowed it many times already. The trees are lush. All of them will be beautiful. Come visit, all of you, soon. Love, Maddie. Beautiful sunset tonight. to measure the rain. Caleb, I thought you'd gone to bed long ago. I had something to do. For Papa. All right. Upstairs.
so. I put the glass there. Yeah. To measure the rain when it comes. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Heat lightning. Try to sleep, sir. I can't without you. Below the mark? Yeah. How much? Almost a foot. Thanks. We have to carry river water for the animals. We can do that. Watch for fires. Yes. We have to measure out our own water. We already have. Have to use less. Anna! Come on! Jacob! Morning, Jess. How are you? Been better days, not much work. Gotta change soon. Caleb and I want to walk around town. All right, I'll be in the store later. I want to watch the blacksmith. Hey, and see if our bridal bit is ready. What can we do? There's nothing to do. Joseph says we have to pack up. Pack up? Where will you go? They have family. No, no, I won't take money, Caroline. I won't forget. Thank you. Says we'll come back. We won't. I know it. Well, there must be some other way. Maybe we could help haul water, Maggie. We could all work harder. I mean, you just don't leave everything you've, you've worked for, your home. 
I mean, I don't see how anybody could. How can anybody just give up? You've never been in this kind of trouble before, Sarah. You don't know how hard it is. These are for you, Sarah. Thank you. Kill them. I spoke too sharply. I'm just used to making things right, making things work. I know. I know. <laughs> the land comes first, sir. It always does. What do you mean? Without the land, there is nothing. That's wrong. Maybe. But that's the way it is. Yeah. They write to me all the time. I can count on them, you know. Like the sun rising and setting, like the tide going in and coming out. I'm going to dry up like the land before. Before. Some news. Good news. Good news? Huh. What good news? Your birthday's soon. Maddie wrote to remind me. She didn't. She did. So, what do you want? Silk? Jewels? Travel? <laughs> Travel? Where would I go? Somewhere green. Somewhere cool. Do you think I would leave? A 
sight, you know? You look beautiful. Do you really think I would leave? will be cooler. Oh, I dream of my old home sometimes. And I dream of long, cool mornings of sleep without the baby waking. <laughs> Night dreams or daydreams? <laughs> What's a daydream? Well, sometimes, no matter where you are, you think of something. A place, maybe, or... Maybe it's something you wish for, and it's so close you can almost touch it. Caleb, will you please go out to the barrels and get us some water? And take out the baby with you, the girl, please? Wrong, Sarah. Just talk of dreams. Oh, Sarah. Before I had my son, I had dreams. They were the strongest dreams. So real. I could feel the soft skin of him oh, and that sweet smell of his hair. I could hear the soft sounds he made when he slept. It was almost as, as if you knew him before he was born. Yeah. When I first married Jacob, it was enough. They were a family, Anna, Caleb. But now with the drought, the worse it becomes, the more the land dries up and the leaves turn to dust. I have this dream almost every night that everything will be all right if I have a baby. Have you spoken to Jacob? <laughs> the cat's dream. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I have dreams at night. Hmm. Bad dreams are good. Good dreams. Every night I dream of rain. Do you? Do you dream of rain? Yes. I dream about rain. That's good. Then it will come true. Some wind out there. It's magic, isn't it? Someone goes away. There's that picture left behind. The face stays forever. It's a fine picture of you. But I'm not leaving, Jacob. Thing. I'm not leaving, Jacob. I'm not leaving. I'm not. I'm not leaving. 
I'm not. Never. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. What will we do? Such happy voices. Oh, no harder time soon enough. We have to go further, the water. There's water in Wakanda Springs. We don't know if there's enough water there, and that's a three-day trip, maybe four. We'll go together. Think, Jacob. We bring water back, then what? The cattle? The crops? There are no crops. Maggie and I have been talking about other ways. What? I think what Matthew means is they're thinking about leaving. No, I mean it. I don't have to love it like Jacob, like Matthew. They give it everything, everything. And it betrays them, it gives them nothing back. You know, Jacob once told me his name was written in this land. Well, mine isn't. It isn't. They don't know anywhere else. You know, you are like the prairie lark. Things from high in the air to tell the other bird is there, and then it drops to earth. But you have not come to earth, Sarah. You don't have to love this land, but if you don't, you won't survive. Jacob is right. You have to write your name in it to live here. Oh, 
How far, Jacob? Down that much. Jacob, I think... Don't say it. He's been doing that all day. He's been doing that for months. Jacob, what are you going to do? Stay inside, Sarah. Jacob, no! No! No, stop! Stop! Jacob, don't do this! Sarah! Don't Jacob, don't! don't. Sarah! Why? Don't do this, Jacob! All he wants is water! And that's all he wants! He just wants water! That's all he wants! He's not going to hurt anything! I mean, he just, he just wants water! He just wants water! Just like he wants water! He just wants water! Kill him! Water! He just wants water! water. Happy birthday, Sarah. And there are presents, Sarah. But I'm not dressed. We'll get dressed. Birthday, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. A present from the aunt.
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Get ready for bed, Anna. I have a present for you, Sarah. Yes? The book I wrote about you, about our family. When my mother, Sarah, came here, she came by train. I didn't know I'd love her, but my brother Caleb knew. Papa didn't know either, but he does love her, I know. I have seen them kiss. And I have heard the sound of his voice when he talks to her and seen his hand touch her hair. My mother Sarah loves us, but she does not love the prairie. She tries, but she can't help it. She can't help remembering what she knew first. Do you like it? I like it. Thank you.
I could have been gone. I could have gone for water. This happened. But you weren't gone. You might have been here alone, you and the children. You have to go, Sarah. You have to take Anna and Caleb away from here. No, Jacob. Sarah, there's no water. There's nothing here for Anna and Caleb. I can't happen here. We can't go alone. We won't leave you. I won't go. I can't go. I know. But you and the children have to go. You understand? Sarah, this land is my life. Like your father, see. I can't go away from it. But you have to. But without you, I. Swim in Maine, Sarah. You 
be here all alone. It's all right. What will happen to us? We'll write letters. We've written letters before. No. <laughs> What you wrote in your book. I'm back to what I knew first. Sarah? Sarah Wheaton? You're still here. Well, where would I be? Except there. <laughs> I'm Sarah Whitting now, Chubb. These are my children, Anna and Caleb. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> are the hens meeting you? No, could you drive them? Oh, you bet. Uh, here, I'll take this for you. Could you put the trunk in the back, please? Is this me? Yeah, this is mine. Can we go swimming now? Soon enough. I've never been in a car before. Uh, about time you were. Want to drive? No. And I won't tell the aunt to call them hands. Let's go see the treasures. Will they like us? They will love you. They will fall upon you with kisses. Morning, Matty. 
Marty. <gasps> Marty. <laughs> We're home. I'm so glad you came to visit us. You're such a pretty little girl. I love your letters, too. <laughs> Look at this magic. <laughs> you like that? Oh, oh Sarah. Oh, oh, Sarah, Sarah. Aren't you hungry? <laughs> Don't you want to lie down? Uh, yes. You're thirsty? Oh, I can't believe oh you better lie down. No, There's a cookie. There's another cookie. Oh, now that cookie. I made that cookie. Doesn't that look pretty good? Are you hungry, honey? Oh, I'm so glad. To I've thought about you so much and your brother. Want a bat? I'll buy a bat. Oh, Harry, <laughs> look. Let them be. See, I told you. Oh, look who's here. Lou. Mind that beast. <laughs> the beast's name is Brutus. An appropriate name. Lou works with animals. Lou works with the veterinarian. <laughs> and Harriet may never get over that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she wants me in silks and furrows. <laughs> oh, please. Dogs don't. like me. I have read. Oh, that's what we've needed all along. No. Oh. A child. We no. must get one. Looks like we have two. Anna, Caleb, you can go for a walk if you want. Down to the water. Take Brutus with you if you want. Hey, He'll run out of sticks for you. He's silly enough to swim in the cold water. Come on, Brutus. Come on. Well, I wrote you a letter, but we had to leave so quickly I didn't have a chance to mail it. I wrote about the drought and the fire. And did the letter say that you are pregnant? Sit down here, darling. <laughs> oh, dear Lou, see what you've done? I need my tonic. Lou hasn't done anything, Harriet. Sarah, is this true? L Lou, how do you know this? You know, don't you? No, I mean, I, s I, mean, I, s I suppose, um, well, there's a drought in the prairie is all dried up, and a, a fire took the barn. And all that time, when the water was drying and the corn and the wheat was dying, all that time, all I could think about was a baby. But there was so much to do. There was so much to worry about. I mean, I mean, but how do you know? There's a look about you. I can always tell by a dog's eyes when she's pregnant. Oh, for heaven's oh. sake, Lou, Sarah's no dog. <laughs> Sarah? Where is Jacob? I can't pay you, Jess. I didn't come to get paid. I came to help. Thanks. By the way, what's that glass doing on that post? It's for rain. Oh, they are wonderful children. <laughs> yes. It was hard for Jacob to send him, to send us away. They're his wife. 
after the land. After the land? Sarah, it seems to me that what Jacob did was to put you first, to send you here. He had no choice, Maddie. Oh, my dear. He had choices. How long will you stay? I don't know. Will Jacob come? No. Jacob won't come. Jacob will write letters. Letters again. <laughs> it was because of those letters that you left. And who was it who told me to go? I. I could never make you do anything, Sarah. <laughs> All I told you was that every winter, I watched the geese fly away to places I've never been, leaving me behind. I didn't want you to be left behind, too. Are you sorry? Sorry that I left here. I miss the sea. I miss all the green. Somehow it doesn't seem quite as green as I remember. The sea isn't as comforting. I was so frightened, I remember, when I left here. But I'm more frightened now, Maddie. I never knew. No one ever told me how hard it is. To love someone. children and my Aunt Lou swim here. And Brutus. Come here. William? Uncle William? Will! Sarah! For a visit. Meg, you look wonderful. <laughs> this is Anna and Caleb. Oh, we've missed you two years. Anna, Caleb, I should have known the moment I saw him. And Jacob. Where's Jacob? Home. Papa's at home. William, did you hear? Seal is going to have kittens. Seal. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Steele. Independent. Independent, like Sarah. Imagine that. Steel a mother? Just shows a change of place sometimes works wonders. It's all right. It's all right, Ed. I'll come tomorrow for the sheep. I'll get better, Jacob. Dear Jacob, we are here now. Anna and Caleb are happy, but they miss you. The aunts have taken them over. They will, I fear, be loved to death. They're going fishing with Lou tomorrow. Caleb is taken with the sea.
Anna is no surprise, spending her days watching and listening. We think of you every day. We miss you. Anna asks about Seal and Nick. Caleb wants to know if it has rained. I think of Moonbeam every day. Love, Sarah. Are you going to tell me? What did the doctor say? I'm fine. The baby's fine. The baby. Maddie. And busy. Yesterday she had four kittens. Four. <laughs> Three gray and one orange. Nick misses you. Sometimes he sits and looks down the road, waiting for you to come back. I am fine. Still in the rain, but soon. Give Sarah a kiss for me. Love, Papa. You forgot to tell us about Mimi. Well, you know, he's probably busy with the farm. But he forgot. I'm going to tell you, Jacob. Come on, get your hand up. Easy now. Easy now. Watch yourself. I'd say that's a good start, Jacob. 
Better be heading back. I promised Samuel I'd stop by and help him with the stock. Someday, when times are better and there's money to be earned, I'll buy a place like this. My papa used to say a man is rich if he has land. People, they come and go, but the land is always there. Like the whole world under your feet. The whole world. That's what I used to think. The whole world, Jacob. I'll see you tomorrow. Right. You yes. Mail this for me in town, would you? That's it. Chubb's secret, and I will tell you Chubb's real name. You can. You can blackmail him. What's blackmail? A criminal act, my dear. Come along, Caleb. Let us go to the porch where I will reveal, only to you, mind you, Chubb's real name. Aunt Lou would make Papa laugh. Papa doesn't laugh very much. That's all right, Anna. Personal, yes. But like everything else, it's also history. No, I never got married. Almost, but not quite. I didn't meet a dashing man like your father. Anna's our family historian. What's dashing? That's what I'm doing right now, dashing into the water. You are? You want to come? I'm going skinny dipping. No, not in front of the children. Harriet, what is it you do each evening when everyone's in bed? Lou! No clothes on? You mean you're going to swim all naked? <laughs> Everyone goes skinny dipping. Dear Papa, the water is cold here, but guess what? The aunts were naked and white in the water at night. They call it skinny dipping. But Papa, I'm 
who's not skinny. Here's a secret. Chubb's name is Chubbers Horatio and Berto Bell. Sarah says it sounds like a song. I miss you. I love you, Caleb. Don't go out on the rocks, Caleb. The tide's up. Don't go step on the stairs. They need fixing, Will. Yeah, yeah. They always have. The town's 200th birthday. That's a fine thing to celebrate, isn't it? Yeah. How many years have we sat right here and watched the fireworks? <sighs> Too many. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else to be done, Lou? Nope. This is the last of it. Remember, when we were little, we used to sit here when Papa, Papa fished. fished. We wait to see his boat coming, then run up the hill to tell Mama. I know. William, do you remember Papa singing a song about a skylark? I only remember the first line. Like a skylark, Sarah sings. You never stayed still, you know. You were always in the trees, climbing rocks. He used to call you his skylark. And he said you'd never come to earth. Papa. I can hardly remember when he was happy. Before Mama died. And hey, then you only had me and the treasures. Only you. Don't you know you were my hero? <laughs> and the ants. Oh, the ants were like the sea. Always there. Always surprising. Always different. Always the same. Almost like... Jacob. Sarah. Jacob could work here with me. Not the farm fails. William, if you knew Jacob, you would see how that cannot be. something different about you. I swim better here. The salt keeps me up. Well, maybe, maybe it could be that. 
I think there's something else. I told you my real name, didn't I? Oh, it's all right. It's all right. But now you owe me a secret. I only know one. Oh, no. Don't tell me the one about the hens swimming in the buff at night. You know that? Oh, everybody knows that. And I think the real secret here is you miss your papa. Both you and your sister, am I right? Yes. And there's this. Huh? The prairie dirt. Take it there. Ah. I'm Chubbers. Chubbers. Horatio Humberto Bell. Ah. Jacob Whitting. Jacob Whitting. Uh, about time you got here. My pleasure. Maddie, someone's here. Who is that? Maddie, come quickly. I think it's him. Hurry, it is him. You, restless like you. You want some food, Jacob? Harry, a solution to the problems of the world. No, thank you. I couldn't eat. Those sounds. The sea. I'll be back. Caleb said it was cold, but he didn't say it was so beautiful. I love you, Sarah. There are things that can't be written in a letter. 
not good with words. You're fine with words. I never thought you'd come. I dreamed about it at night, when the sea sounded like wind in the grasses. I thought about it at night when Caleb had bad dreams. I saw your face everywhere, Jacob. Everywhere. I'd look at the sea, and I'd see your face there and in the sky. And I looked at Anna and Caleb, you were there. Once in the street, I saw somebody that looked like you, and I rushed after him. <laughs> Once I met the train, because something told me maybe you'd be there. But I never thought you'd come. Here I was, like a child, come home to my beautiful sea, and I should have been happy, but I was frightened. I mean, I am frightened, because This terrible love for you is so strong. I've never known such a thing before. I know. I never thought you'd come. Once Maddie asked me how long I'd stay here, and I, I know now. I came to stay long enough to say goodbye. I think, Jacob, our baby should be born on the prairie. It's the right thing. And you were right. Some things can't be written in a letter. I mean, you, you said it once, sometimes words aren't, aren't good enough. staying. And thank you for finishing the barn, Jess. Oh, everything's fine. We got a level in the stock pond. Look, Sarah, orange. New wheat sprouting in the fields. Can you stay for supper? Uh, thank you, but I got a mirror that's about to fall. Ah. Maybe another day. It's good to have you folks back. There was talk you might be selling. No, Jess. No. Won't be selling, Jess. Good. I might be interested in one of the new kittens. 